Good afternoon, my friends. I hope you're all well. Boy, have I missed you all. It seems like I haven't been here forever. It's been super busy um, in the back, unfortunately. So sometimes it has to be all hands on deck, including myself. Um, we're trying to get all of the Christmas orders out of the door as well from Create and Craft. So fingers crossed you're going to start getting your lovely orders within the next couple of days. So for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Tony Darrick and this is the How to Craft Network, where you can come and get some lovely inspiration. Whether it be card making, crafting, anything handmade, come and say hello. We are a fabulous family that love to create and inspire one another. If you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This gives you the notice when we are live. And it also, there is a little bell as well where you can click that and get the half an hour notice. There is also a HD button as well, which sometimes if you click, it gives you a better viewing experience. So I've got lots to tell you about. Let's just say hello to our friends. So we have, when I see the faces on here and they are regular faces, I just feel like, oh my gosh, this lady and this gent has tuned in again for my show and I am very appreciative. So let's say hello. Hi, Brian. Irene. Hi, Elaine. I'll say some surnames because sometimes um, some people have the same name. So hi, Elaine Quinn, Bridget Head. Hi, sweetheart. I hope you're well. Brian Murphy, Mary Murphy. I know you're, in the, you're there. Uh, Michaela, Kathy Taylor. So Julie Barlow, Bernadette G G Galia. That's a nice name. Gillian Howard, Valerie Nolan. These are all right. Pat Pepper, Angela Brennan. It's lovely to see you all. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in today. The weather's okay. I think some of you have got spots of rain and some of you have got sunshine. We're okay at the moment. Touch wood, we have our doors open because people are running around picking and packing. As you can imagine, it gets hot, 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 hot. So in today's studio, we are going to have a look at our fabulous layering stencils, which we launched last week with Carly, if you remember. So I just wanted to go back and revisit those because lots of you ordered them. So I don't want the inspiration just to end when you've bought them. We're going to carry that through today. A couple of things to tell you about then. So on this Friday, I'm back on Create and Craft with some more eyes ink products. So if you have had your eyes ink products and you love them, which is brilliant, hopefully, um, we have some new pastes, which are like iridescent pasty ones. And I've bolted on some of our older products as well, which although they're old, they're still fabulous. So tune in for that one if you are interested. If not, there are stuff in the show that you've probably purchased from us already and you will be able to utilise and get the inspiration from. So I'm going to be doing the um, 9.15 show on Friday and then Carly's going to be picking up the last show, which is 4.30. And she's going to do her own twist on it. As you know, we're all unique. All the guests that come to us here at the How to Craft Network, we all have our style and hopefully Sunday's style is fitting of your style at home as well so Callie will be doing the 4 30 show again with the pearly paste if there's any left um so if you do like them grab them because we haven't got lots this time not not for a big launch like christmas so that is friday it when we do the friday morning show i'm going to be doing the um launch here because i will be back in time However, I'm not sure exactly what time. Now, I will keep you posted and the newsletter will go out on Thursday with the time. It could be two o'clock to give me that breathing space to get on the motorway and get back. So if you're tuning at one and I'm not there, it's possibly going to be two or maybe three. And I have a fabulous guest as well presenting the show. Somebody different this time. We love Carly, but we're going to have lots of people in studio guesting, presenting, playing and enjoying so we've got a new guest i'm not going to tell you about it because it's a surprise and we all love a good surprise so that's that so uh let's have a look enid's waiting for a rising i promise you enid they are on their way um what else love the shirt thanks enid it has got a little bit of my yogurt down the front here a bit of a mucky pup today so that's all I've got to tell you about today. So I'm going to play with our fabulous stencil. Let's show you which one. So I'm going to play with this one, which is Carly's favourite today. So you saw I played with this one, didn't I? If you remember, I'm trying to think what I did with the sample, which was this one. I played with this one because this was my favourite, wasn't it? But I'm going to do Carly's favourite today, which is this sort of edgy design on there as well. So let's have a look. <laughs> Everybody's good, brilliant. So let's have a play. Today, I'm gonna 
Rather than stencil through, we're going to do a little bit of an arty sort of card today. So you wouldn't know if it were a stencil or not, if that makes sense. And I have my whole, I think, my whole bunch here. So, so I can decide what I want to do. The rose is, is Karen's favourite as well as Carly as well. <laughs> so hopefully, if you haven't got our products, please don't switch off though. The channel is here to inspire you as always. And you might have something in your stash that's similar. You know, we're not the first to start a layering stencil or a layering stamp for that matter. So you might have something in your stash from another fabulous brand. So, you know, dig your stuff out and just come and have a craft along if you want to. Oh, that's what I needed to tell you about. So on Saturday, because our store couldn't open through the week and I did say we would be doing a demo day with Carly on Saturday if you remember uh we can't do it now because of the government guidelines so we've pushed it on four weeks um however this Saturday to sort of fill that little void I'm going to put some items in the sale and I'm also going to be doing a free painting class Saturday morning um at 10 o'clock if that's okay so if you want to grab your watercolor paints you know the rule not the rules you know the basics bring your watercolor card your watercolor paints and a brush probably about a size four and it'll be 10 o'clock on saturday morning we'll do an hour an hour and a half and we'll just have some fun is that okay with everyone i know you all like the painting classes so why not fill that little gap with a little painting morning if we can so that's what we're going to do so if you do want to come along all you need to do is go to youtube i've got a fly flying around it's quite irritable Nathan's about to hit it with his slipper. Yeah, I'm all joking, he ain't got a slipper. <laughs> um, if you have got um, any paints, it doesn't matter whose brand, come along. Just go to the YouTube, How to Craft Network, and you'll be able, we'll just go live at 10 o'clock so you can. And I'll do it real time so we can do it together as well. Anyway, I think the weather's going to be pants, so what's a better way to, you know, enjoy a Saturday morning other than to sit and paint? So I'm getting all these inks out. Look, <laughs> so I've got my embossing ink ones, which you saw. I just get them all out because I just think I love colour, as you all know. So why don't we get all of our colour out? And then just, if you're making one card, make three. I'm sure I've got duplicates on here. I'm sure I've got some same. No, I haven't, have I? I have a few. There we go. I'm a new fan, if you haven't gathered. And the fabulous... Fabulous thing of being able to take them to Create and Craft so you all can see as well what Isaac are up to and what we're up to as a family is brilliant. So, for anybody who hasn't seen the layering stencils, oh, Sue's saying hopefully she'll be able to join in. Hopefully, but don't forget, don't put yourselves under any pressure. If you can't join in, it never goes away. You can do it tea time, you know, when your husband's putting his feet up or watching the rugby or the football. I'm not entirely sure what's on at the moment, but you know. So these stencils come with five stencils, okay? And they are numbered. When you get the package in here, you'll see the five sort of stencils. And then you get like an outline die to take it out of the page. Now, I'm not going to use the die today. I'm going to use it as a, a piece, like a masterpiece, an art piece, which we can put in a frame. There we go. Um, but they are, they are all numbered, and I'll just show you. So if you're looking at the stencil from like overhead, if there's no number, it's the wrong way around. Turn it over. Okay, and I've got a number one there. So the numbers need to be facing you, okay, for the design to work. So that's number one. And then number two. I'm just getting them in order for my own sake so it doesn't go horribly wrong. Number three. Enid's had for a while. Enid's had her eyes inks, other eyes inks for a while and they've worked incredibly well. They are good. And we've, guess what as well? going to be doing my own colours. How cool is that? Hey, how cool is that? So let's go and have some fun. Let's just budge this out of the way. So I thought today we'd do, as you saw from the studio when I demoed, you saw that you could do like a complete sterile, beautiful, beautiful rose like this one here. This is actually the rose I'm going to do. Here, so you can see this one here and it's sort of very sterile, very, very pretty but very, very sterile. So in today's demonstration, I'm just going to show you how you can make it look a little bit more arty and a little less lineified, if that's a word, and make it look a little bit more like a painting rather than stencils or a layering stamp, possibly. Yeah, so it's 10 a.m. Saturday morning on the How to Craft channel network. 
and my, oh my gosh as well, so many exciting things to tell you about. The website is nearly complete and I think it's going to be up and running by the end of this month, which is going to be brilliant. And the reasons why it's going to be brilliant is you're all going to be able to check your account, change your details, track a parcel, save to favourites, save favourite products, save favourite videos, discounts, buy three for X, cherry pick. There's just so many features for you to get the most out of it. And you get points for every time you spend something. I know you a lot of you like to spend. So every time you spend, you accumulate some points, which then can be returned back into products as well. It's going to be amazing. I'm so excited. And it's been a long time in the making, but I'm happy it's at the stage it needs to be at now, which is super cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay stencil one here. And I'm using watercolor card today, guys, because I really want it to look like a masterpiece. So I'm just going to lay it on here. Now, the hearts in the corner, if you're wanting to line them up, you can line them up, pop some ink through. I mean, I've got a small piece of card. But if I had, let's do a large piece of card because I don't want to confuse. So let me just grab an A4 piece so people understand what I'm talking about. So the little hearts are where you just pop a little bit of ink through. And that's your little guide, should you wish, for when you come to line your next stencil up as well. So pop it in. Now, if you've got the confidence, you can just line it up with the edge of the card if you want to. There are absolutely no rules. I'm just going to go with it like that. I'm going to trim it down anyway when it comes to my masterpiece, but I'm okay with it as it is. So shall we pick some exciting colours? I'm going to go, my gosh, teals, yellows, greens, shall we go? So I'm going to just take my ink pad direct to the watercolour card here. Rather than um, take a brush and pop it through, I'm just going to ink through. Okay, my gosh, it's 100 degrees in Utah today. 100 degrees. My goodness me. So I'm just taking the ink pad and I'm just basically pushing it through that stencil. Now, if you've got a little bit of a tremor or a shake, tape your stencil down. That'll help uh, incredibly. So I don't want even coverage either. I just want some lovely colour laid down there like so and then we'll lift this one off just pull it back so i can grab it and then we've got a little bit of detail in there but now what i'm going to do before i move on to the second stencil is i'm just going to take my spray bottle and i'm going to spray it so we just get sort of a bleed if my um, spray bottle allows there we go not much i don't want it saturating but i want a little bit of a bleed if you get too much of a bleed take a tissue and take off the excess. That's all you need to do. My gosh, Lindsay Brewerton, who we all know, she had five inches of rain last week. I hope you're not, I hope you live on a hill, Lindsay. <laughs> so I'm just taking my um, towel here and just getting a little, rid of a little bit of the water, nothing fancy. And then before I do my next layer, I'm just gonna blast this one off. The heat's been great for our tomatoes. Elizabeth's tomatoes are coming on a treat. <laughs> oh, Lindsay lives at the bottom. Oh, no. I'm not going to dry it off fully. They are quite a fast drying ink anyway, so because they're my dye based ones. So let's swap out. Shall we go? Shall we go another blue? So I've got here two, four, six, eight. I've got 20 colours here. And I have, have I got double up? How on earth have I acquired 20? I don't know. I don't know. So I'm going to go with a darker blue this time. I'm just going to pop that second stencil onto my piece of cardstock, just in corner to corner, like I, sh like I showed you. And I'm just going to take the next um, one and hopefully I'll get a difference in colour. If I feel, no, it's not dark enough, I will then swap it out for another one. Let's have a look how dark this one is. Or oh, how dark this one is. Let's go this one. That's better. And I'm just pushing it through.
and then hopefully we'll have the next layer look how cool that looks already that's great isn't it just with two layers already now i'm just going to spray it again i'm going to spray between each layer but i'm not going to saturate i don't want it to like bleed into a big muddy mess i'm just going to let that do a little bit of a bleed now which color did i use does anybody know i don't think it was that one i'll use that one next so when it's done its magic and it's bled a little bit which it has I don't think a lot of us here would manage with 100 degrees. Not at all. <laughs> so if you've got any big puddles, just mop them up with your tissue. So you can see we've got that sort of second line and it's already sort of looking quite arty now obviously the more water you add the more it's going to sort of infuse into the water and you're going to get more of a distressed look so it's personal preference what i would say to you is just do it stage by stage and then learn from how much water you've added and if you need to take some away or add some more so let's go on to number three this time <laughs> so number three this time and then we'll pop this on here so hopefully i can't remember which one i just used i think i don't think i used this one we'll soon find out won't we um so i'm just going to push this one through this time so because it's smaller gaps now i'm starting to sort of try and drag it through so i get in all of that detail as much as i can anyway when you take it off here we go look starting to look fabulous hey now i'm going to spray a little bit the more layers that i do i think i'm going to use less water so i still keep the, the element or the design not too much and i'm going to leave it at that just give it a second to infuse into that spray water so Barbara's asking, what is the embossing ink? So the, the embossing ink, basically, it's got a um, glycerin base, so it stays wetter for longer on your page. And you know how, like, say, for instance, on this page here, the blue part, which I've sprayed, if you, can you see how you can see through it? Whereas with the embossing ink pad, they're opaque, so you can't see through them as much, okay? So they give you a really strong, solid, vibrant colour, which you can't see through whereas with your dye based ones you can see through them it's transparent so with these ones they stay wetter for longer you can put your embossing powders on them so you can have you've got a clear embossing powder you can pop it over the colors and have colored ones if you don't have all of the colors in your stash they're beautiful for blending they, you get a bit of a better blend with them because of that glycerin that's in there and they're just a super cool ink pad and the colors are absolutely incredible colors as well so and there's going to be more colors coming as well which is really really cool so if you haven't got a pigment um, ink set, I would encourage you to get these just simply because they are inexpensive and the quality is second to none. And I absolutely love anything where I ain't got to spend a lot of money and I'm still getting great value. For something else that's already on the market, which is way, way more expensive. And unfortunately, I don't think they're in stock. I've just told you all. Mind you, you still need to know because you might have pigment inks in your stash already. So that's all the blue part done okay so once i've completed this full design i'll show you how you can revisit one of the layers and bring the design back if you've absolutely lost it because you've saturated it with water okay but let me just do the whole concept and then we'll i'll show you so on here we have design number four wait a minute wait a minute panicking oh no that is right what are you 
I'm thinking to myself, why can I see all the blue? It's because I spritzed it, didn't I? <laughs> panic over, panic over. So, shall we go? Shall we go like limey yellow? Mm. Let's go limey yellow and green. Yeah, let's do it. So, number four, I placed it in the same position. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the same sort of technique. Um, through the stencil. Do they come in a bundle, sweetheart? Yes, they do. They come in bundles of nine. They're about fifteen pounds, um, and they have some metallic colours and some standard colours. They're out of stock at the minute, but we have small stock in the building. But until I've fulfilled all of the create and craft orders, I'm not loading it back on. But it will be loaded on probably by the end of the week. I hope that's okay. But they are available elsewhere. They're not just unique to me. But if you want to wait, they are. Um, available then. So I'm just popping this green straight through. Now, as I said before, if you're more confident, tape it down. But I'm literally, because I'm going for like a little bit of an arty piece, I'm absolutely just going freehand here. And if you do like colour and love to, you know, get stuck in, then this is going to be a great technique. You're going to love this one. So I'll get lots of colour on if you've got the confidence to do it. And then when you take it away, we start to get our leaf shape. Can we see that there? I'm just going to set that back. Now, I would like the leaves to blend out a little bit as well, but probably not as much as the flower. <laughs> just a little bit, so it maybe makes it look a little bit abstracty. It's easy to go overboard, I guess, but try and be a little bit reserved with it if you can. So, just give that a second. Oh, there's so many. Um, like, I think because I bought the set, didn't I, before I actually spoke to Isaac? I bought a set myself, if you remember, when I was playing. So I think that's why I've got more here. Because then, I'll, obviously, the ones that I took to telly, I used as well. So I've probably got double up somewhere along the line. <laughs> so it's, I'm happy with that. So shall we dry this one off? On Friday, um, when I come to do the live show, two or three o'clock, remember your newsletter, two or three o'clock, I'm going to be putting some things in the sale. So, um, lots of things in the sale, actually. So, if there's something you've had your eye on, keep your eyes peeled for Friday. Because um, I do like to do a good sale, as you all know. So, number five. Can we do number five this time? So, I've got number five on top here. And this time, I'm going to go with, let me just check this green. Not sure about that green, so we'll just try a darker one. No. What, shall we do black? What do we think? Shall we try? Black's too much. I'm going to go blue. Let's go blue. Let's just see how it looks. What's the worst that can happen? It is just a stencil. I can do it again. Not live on air, but I can do it again. <laughs> oh, so I'm just going to stencil this blue, which has already given me a tone of green anyway, because the colour underneath is yellow. So it's no great shape. You can see that there, so that's a lovely, lovely colour that's come through there. So let's just give this a little spritz. Just a little one. She says just a little one as I keep keep going. There we go. I'm gonna leave it. Don't don't don't, don't get carried away. <laughs> I'm just gonna give it time to sort of do its little bit of piece of magic there. 
and then I'll dry it off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it back a little bit. So you see the light blue we did initially? It's so, it looks beautiful, but it's a little bit gone too far for me with water. And I'll show you how to pull the design back by revisiting one of the stencils, okay? So let's dry this one off. If you're into this sort of, and if you love his splats and, you know, you're sort of getting into the arty element of it, then doing this with the stencils is really going to sort of allow you to do that because the stencils are going to create either sterile looks or very, very sort of arty looks. So, you know, have the courage to play. At the end of the day, it's a piece of card. You have all your ink pads, whether it be Ising, Tim Holtz, whatever you've got in your stash. I've got, if you only saw this corner over here with my ink pads, there are so many um but it's personal preference and personal choice and everything every ink pad or paste or you know embossing powder has its place and if you've got something at home that works for you i would encourage you not to change it's silly why mend something that's not broken so if you're happy with what you're using stick with it however if you're not there are some alternatives so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to show you how we can pull the design back so can you see how i sort of like lost the initial part See that there. I'm just going to take stencil number one and bring it back a little bit basically. So, can anybody remember which color I used first? Were it this one? There we go. I'm just going to bring the design back a little bit by adding some color over the top. So, this what this is going to do is I'll still have the bleed around, but it's just going to emphasize the shape because I lost it a little bit. We see that there? We've got our lovely shape now where I lost it a little bit. I've still got that beautiful bleed around. I'm really, really pleased with that. So, let me have a look. Have I got my confetti ink, my white confetti ink? Just one second. Just one second, sorry. I have so much stuff on my trolley, you wouldn't believe. No. I've got my gouache, though, so it's okay. We're good, we're good. I'm just going to take some gouache here and add some splats now. Don't be scared of gouache or your confetti paints. I know a lot of you have bought your confetti paints now, so... I'm certain you're all going to be using them to death because, as you know from us here in the How to Craft Network, we always use it. I'm sure you'll do the same. Let me just grab my paintbrush here. I'm just going to mix this up. But don't be scared to get some white splats on here because they pretty much disappear to nothing anyway. Have the courage to get that colour on. And what again, what's the worst that could happen? I'm just going to add some splats. see those there just a few and say just a few you know if i had my way <laughs> i saw one lady had put on our eureka fan, fan page it looks like it's been snowing it were i think it were over romeo a card is a lady on on romeo she's like oh my gosh i think there's too much snow on this one it was actually quite i thought it were amazing <laughs> lady was like well i think i've overdone it it looks cool to me anyway so let's just dry this one it's practically disappeared i shouldn't have i shouldn't have cleaned that up i really needed to add some more it's going to kill me now <laughs> you see now how it's pretty much gone make sure it's absolutely dry because i'm going to put this on a card so i just went ahead of time really and cut the piece I needed for my card, but it didn't um, show you the heart um, examples to show you how you line the hearts up if you want to. So I'll just cut this one down, um, make it fit my card. So just one second. So Gillian's getting braver with the splats. That's good. They don't bite, I promise, they don't bite. I'm just going to trim this one down very, very quickly. I 
a bit more. Sandra, you will like the look of this because this is just up your street. <laughs> So I think we're good to go there. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Look at all your ink pads. I know, I feel like I'm super posh. Cool. Does anybody else like get really excited about seeing colour? Whether it be, look at that, I can't even get it all in shot. This makes me happy. This makes me happy, everyone. So can I just tell you as well, all of those, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, five. I have all of these colours at an affordable price, so I'm chuffed. I like a bargain. Let's get this on our card then, hey? And I have my washi. Let's bring our washi in. My washi with my um, little ticker tapes, all my sentiments. Yeah, as soon as I get back, so I will announce on Thursday's newsletter. So make sure you sign up for the Stamps by Me newsletter. This lets you know when shows are cancelled as well, because I do appreciate I have to cancel some short notice sometimes, and you're all waiting for me. Um, so when we try and get it out there, but sometimes not everybody sees it, I appreciate that. But it just gives you all updates, the news, and you get to see some special offers as well, because we do like a product of the week and things like that. Uh, five pound specials on Imala, pretty penny. So I'm just give this a second to grab. I'm just sort of teasing it a little bit because it's a um, watercolour card, so it's just taking a little bit longer to stick. Did I notice? Did you notice another brand with sentiments on washi? No, Barbara. <laughs> Who? It's the craft industry, unfortunately. And I don't think I'll be the f I was the first person to do washi tape anyway, so I'm over it already. But you can say if you want to, sweetheart. Yes, on C&C. Oh, interesting. So I'm going to give this just a little twist. Come on, stick, stick, stick. But you can see as soon as you pop that lovely black border around, it sort of pops from the page. Can we see that there? Looks really pretty, doesn't it, now? If you wanted to, I will do it at the end. How do I access the newsletter? So if you go to our website, um, the home page, go right to the bottom and on the left hand side it says sign up for our newsletter and the box is there for your email so just pop your email in there and it'll automatically do it for you. Oh it was Lisa, yeah I think Lisa was going to do washi tape at some point. So let's pop this on. It's not sticking very well. It's not plating ball today. Which way should we go? Does anybody else have that problem? Which way? So. Let's give it a second. But you can see already, as soon as it's matte and laid onto a card, card doesn't it look beautiful? Oh, so Crafty Scott 100 has just said they've just got their pet, their inks and they're more vibrant than they look on TV. They are. They're really cool. I'm pleased with them. So shall we pop some sentiments on here? It's taking some time to stick. I'm not going to keep massaging it while you're all watching me because I would normally just play and play and play until it sticks. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go black because I've got that black border. And I think it'll look really well. Well, let's pick some sentiments here. I need to cut some more of these. 
So let's have a look. Happy looks good on you. Love that one. Happy looks good on you. Limitations a wonderful form of fatter. It is. Happy looks good on you. Belated birthday wishes. Shall we go that one? Let's go those two. So before I stick those on, I just want to show you a little bit of a cheat as well. Not a cheat as such. That fly is happening. It's swinging around. I just want to show you that if you want to add sometimes a little bit of sparkle to your projects, these are our gossip sparkle pens. Um, I know you might have some sparkle pens in your stash from another brand, which is fine. Um, you can sort of get a puddle on your craft mat and then sort of tap this on here too. So not only will I have the lovely um, sort of gesso white splats, I'll also have some shine. And I'll try and show it when I hold the card up. Get a bit more on there. Just that finishing touch to a card. If you do like a little bit of sparkle, then don't, be, you know, and you can do this with your coloured sparkle gossip pens as well. Just add a, just a finishing touch, really. I'll show you it when I hold it up. So, shall we put some. On it. These are the tubs you are using on your sweetheart. These are not mine. These are um, Deflecto storage. Deflecto. On, oh, thank you, Vanda. And they're on Amazon. Another. I think Linda Chapman might have them on her web. Just check around, shop around a little bit because they are. Some places are really expensive and some are quite affordable. So, but they're not just good for our washi. They're good for if you do pre-die cuts and, you know, particularly if you do make cards a lot. So I'm going to go the lovely clear ones so they look like drops. I've done this one in blue, but if you do have a play later, maybe... Swap out for some cool purples, some fuchsias and things like that. And you can do this technique with any of the layering stencils. So if you just bought one last week, then at least you've got something to go at. Or if you bought, uh, can you remember our last ones with the wreaths? You could do that as well, guys. You really could. I'm just going to grab a pad here. And some scissors, hopefully. Or maybe not. Oh, yeah. I didn't pull my trolley around today because I thought, oh, you know what? I'm just doing stencils. I won't need much. <laughs> so Vanda's were twenty pounds, and she's saying hers were fab. Mine, I got mine. I think about that price too. And you can stack them. You can get several and stick them on wheels and drag them around your room if you want to. They're quite cool. They're good. The good quality. I know that. But equally, if you've got your old kids' as lunch boxes in the cupboard, which I've got a lot of, you know, where they're all just lids all over. That's me. They will work as well. So happy, and I'm just going to stick it through the flower because I don't like my anything to be floating on my artwork. I always like mine to be connected in some way, but it is personal preference. You could equally pop it down like in this base corner if you wanted to. And we'll leave it there. I'll show you in a second. I'll just clear my station a little bit. Oh, and the ink pad stack, which is cool. So here's that pretty card. Well, I think it's pretty, but I just, that's the one that I've just done. Can I just quickly show you this one first? So this, oh, not this one. Yeah, this one. This is the one I've Karen did. Can we see that there? So this is the other design, and I think Karen may have done what I've done. I, don't hold me to that, but I think she's spritzed between the layers, or she's done all of the layers and then spritzed. But I would encourage you to try maybe both, because you're going to get a different look every time. So that's the one that um, inspired me today. And then this is the one that I've just done, so I'll just move out of the way. 
<laughs> so I hope that's okay and it's something a little bit different than the sterile look. I do encourage you to try different things with your products and get them out more than once. Please don't just use them and then put them in a drawer and never see the light day again. Fingers crossed. So I hope you've enjoyed today's studio. I will post a picture over on our Facebook page. If you pop a comment under today's show, I will give this card away. Let me know your thoughts. What did you think about the show? Is it something you're going to try? Anything, just keep it kind. And I will choose a winner for this card next time I am in studio. Oh, that's okay. So whatever you're doing, stay safe, stay cozy. I'm always going to be saying that. And I always started saying it when, you know, when we went into lockdown. But it still rings true, doesn't it? Stay safe, stay cozy, get in your pyjamas and have a lovely evening and I will catch you all later. Any questions, you know where we are here at Stamps by Me. Take care everyone. Bye.